If I traded it all. So welcome back, everyone. We are live on Facebook. So hi to everybody out there. My next guest has never been on with me before. It's a newbie. I have with me Mary Fane Brandt, and she is a career coach and consultant for C-Level Women. You're also a LinkedIn strategist uh, for small business owners. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, that's so, I am too. I'm glad for you to be here too, because it's a perfect time for you to be here. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Uh, sure. So I'm a career coach and LinkedIn strategist, as you said, and I really help people connect, cultivate, and convert the opportunities right in front of them using LinkedIn as a platform. And I love working with women who are ready to make that next career move, but they just don't know how. They are just like stuck. And so that is that is the beauty of working with me is I, I help them find their voice and I help instill confidence. And when you're more confident, it comes through in everything that you do. Oh gosh, absolutely. Now you happen to mention LinkedIn and I know you have an event that's coming up. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so LinkedIn Local Phoenix is an event uh, that I host with my co-host Bruce three times a year. It's going to be at the Better Business Bureau this year in Phoenix and that's on February 21st from four to six and tickets are 25 bucks so what we're gonna do because you wanted to do something special for everybody I do we're gonna open up the lines and let everyone call throughout the rest of the show that she's got two tickets that she's gonna do as a giveaway for people our number here is 602-277-5369 toll free it's 1-866-536-1100 it's gonna be February 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. it's at the Better Business Bureau what are they gonna learn there well we have a panel of speakers that is gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of owning a business. We're going deep. We're sharing stories of uh, the bad things that happens when you're a business owner, the things that we wish we would have known. So I have someone that's been in business 50 years, 30 years, 20 years, and 10 years. So we're going to get a very wide perspective of what it's like to own a business and some obstacles that you might, you know, face or challenge as a business owner. Now, is all the information on your website? Yes. Now, your website for you, it's Mary Thane Brown. Brant.com. So I'm going to spell that out. Okay. So Mary Fain, F A I N, and it's B R A N D T.com. You can also call her. Her phone number is 619 987 8404. So let's go into some of these things. First of all, you have a story. I want you to be able to talk about that. So my story really ties into why I became a career coach. I was going through this big career shift and I was lost, I was stuck, and I was frustrated. So let me back up two years before that shift. I had a job at a uh, private school in La Jolla, California at the beach. It was beautiful. I loved the people I worked with. I got a new boss. We never clicked. And I'd also gotten my um, master's degree, my um, my college degree. So I had gone back to school and I learned new skills and they were not being put to work where I was at. And after a while that just kind of wears on you. I'm not using my talents and my skills. I'm not you know, being promoted how I want to be. And so I just stayed there. I didn't know what to do. I was, I'm going to say this, I was 48 at the time. Okay. I was 48 at the time going, oh, I can't go get a new job. I'm too old. What am I going to do? How many people relate to the things she's saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So I just want you guys to know I've had three jobs since turning 48. So it's never too late. Mm -hmm. And what happened was I was stuck because of one word, fear. I was scared to try something new. I was scared to leave the environment I had been in for 10 years. I was scared I was too old. I was scared I didn't know enough. I was scared that I didn't even know how to go about looking for a job. So I actually went through a placement service and I learned a lot. And I also learned that they were antiquated. Like they had transparencies. I'm like, hello, you know, what happened to the digital world here? And so I said, oh my gosh, I said, I can do this better. So I do what I always do and I organize my thoughts. I put it into a binder at the time, 15 tabs, color coded. I research the heck out of what you need to do for a career search in 2014. That is when I was going through this career transition. And I actually was helping people at the school that were also looking for a new job at lunch and just helping them see uh, new opportunities in front of them, how to package themselves up. And I was giving them the confidence 
that they needed to not be fearful. Well, this is, so many people can relate to this. So wait, when is the first thing that somebody should do when they're thinking about looking for a job? I'm going to say the first thing you shouldn't do is update your resume. That is what everybody wants to do. Like, oh, I need to get my resume in order. No, you need to take stock in why you're leaving that job, what was wrong with it, and what you really want. So do an exercise a day in your dream job. What does it look like? Who are you working with? And then also, like, what are your transferable skills? Maybe you're looking to pivot. So maybe you were an event coordinator back uh, before COVID, right? And you're like, oh, I'm not going to go back into that. Well, maybe you're a project manager now. Okay, and maybe all you need is a certification. So look at why are you leaving your current job? What do you really want? And I mean, dream big. Right. Put it all out there and then take stock of what do I need to do to get that job or to pivot? It might just be a certification. It might be rebranding yourself. You know, we were talking about that yesterday, somebody who does offer a certification for something. And it's so interesting how this is such a great time. So many people, it's a new year. It's a new you. Do something different. But the first thing when you say, oh, I got to, everybody says I got to update my resume. Don't update the resume until you actually do the foundational work of where do you want to land? I always, you know, I try to make it fun. So where do you want to land in 2023? You don't want to be where you're at. So we do the resume last it is the very last thing I is do. Is that interesting? Yes. Where do people find jobs? Uh, LinkedIn and their network. There's two places. Um, LinkedIn and your network. So you know, I, and listen up, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say this because, and you work with women mostly. Yes. You said okay. Well, sorry guys, just the way it is. Uh, but of course, um, you know we all know somebody too that you might. That's what networking is all about. Yes. So maybe it's you or someone that you know. You know, um, it's interesting because you want to make sure that you uh, that you don't lose sight of who you are. Yes. Right. I think that's really important and. Right now, though, LinkedIn is the place, and it has been now for a while. And people, it's the professional platform. But a lot of people don't. They, I think it's because they, uh, they they're older. Might just think like me. I'm an older. I'm, oh, I don't know how to use it. Can you help people with? Yes, that's most what I of know. my clients. Because a like, lot of people need help with that. No, I would say <clears> that fifty percent of my clients are over fifty, and they're like, oh, I know I should be on LinkedIn, but I don't know how to use right, it. Right. It, and once I, once we set you up, once we brand you and position you as the expert you are and I show you how fun it can actually be to use LinkedIn people are like this is great I wish I would have done this sooner sure. and what happened in 2020 with the pandemic is people started reaching out to me Mary I need your help because lunches were canceled meetings networking everything went from in person to online and people if you don't have your network set up the time to set it up is not in the middle of the pandemic or when you need it start working on your network today so they're there and they can help you in the future. Absolutely, I agree. Now, her phone number is 619-987-8404. Her website is Mary Thane Brandt, which is Mary, F-A-I-N-B-R-A-N-D-T.com. You can um, also get registered. There is a uh, the LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn Local Phoenix. We have our own website for our events, which are three times a month. So it's LinkedInLocalPHX.com. Mm-hmm. If you Google that, that will come up, and that's February 20th. 21st. And we've got our lines open here for everyone to get entered into win two free tickets to it. Our number here is 602 277 Toll free, it's 1 866 536 1100. Why do you need a personal brand as a career professional? Oh, I love this question. Um, so the pandemic changed everything, right? And in order for us to stand out against our competition, we need to create that personal brand. And a personal brand is not logos, fonts, and your website. Website. Those are assets of your personal brand. A personal brand is your essence. Who are you at the core? What do you stand for? Right? So it takes a while to uh, do a deep, deep dive and really get to your personal brand. Mine is fun, informative, casual, and conversational. That is me to the core. Absolutely. And that comes out in everything you do. Can you help people? I know a lot, especially older folks that say, well, I don't know who I am anymore. Yes. There's a lot of women, especially women that, uh, let's say you've been married and then you get either divorced, you've got kids. <laughs> Boy, have you changed and you're not the same person anymore. You're not. And so we need to rediscover who you are. What, who do you want to be? 
and and how can we take your talents and and your branding and position you as this executive that you are or whatever it is that you want to do a sales consultant a vp wherever you want to be if you have some of those skills we can brand you and position you on linkedin to get known get found and get hired it's all about that position especially on linkedin now when should someone ask for a recommendation at their job and how should they go about that i love this question too <clears throat> all the time like every month you should sit down and go who did i work with what project did i work on where did i volunteer what committee did i serve on and ask those people hey can you write me a recommendation i'm just trying to keep my linkedin profile up to par see you can do that now i, I now you have an excuse right i'm i gotta get my it's not your resume because if you say that to them they'll be like it's what? an alert <clears throat> right but if you say that you're just you you know i'm updating my linkedin they love that and it's it's about being <clears throat> current and staying current you want to ask as soon as possible and the best way to get a recommendation is to tell the person what you want to be recommended for you want to be recommended for hard skills not soft skills mary was sweet she was on time she was easy to work with and eh, we don't want that we want Mary saved us ten thousand dollars over two months by finding five accounting problems so here's the thing folks right now the way we do things is a lot different than we used to do them yeah. especially for us older folks women she works with women and you call them uh, for C level mm -hmm. what's a C level real quickly so those are the the your C level executives right so you're the VP the CEO the founder maybe you're the regional director and you want to get that next level well, her phone number to call is 619-987-8404. Her website is maryfainbrandt.com. So it's Mary F A I N B R A N D T.com. We also have our lines open here for everyone to get entered in to win two free tickets to the event that she's having February 21st. Our number here, 602-277-5369.